The home side lead the all-time head-to-head. Though Portman Road was the scene of Derby's biggest ever win over the Tractor Boys back in 1976. Derby had three players score twice on that day, including Francis Lee's final ever fixture. Sula hit a brace for Derby last weekend. We'd like to think that if someone scored twice for the Rams tonight, then that would mean that they record three wins in a row uh, for the first time since the summer of 2020. And if Derby can keep that run going tonight, you would suspect that it would be a very happy trip home uh, from Suffolk for the travelling supporters. Lifted in now and straight at Wild Smith. Not sure how much the goalkeeper knew about that. Burns didn't get much of a touch. It was a wicked ball. Whipped her in towards that front post over Cashin's head. Look at that for a ball. Burns stretching. Tries to get a little touch on it. Wildsmith has to react quickly. in the middle Ashen was there first collected by John Jules he was away from Bird and he's gone down into the challenge from Mendes Lang he went down very easily and if you're the referee you have to have a word with him there you've got to speak to him if you're saying it's a dive again a close one the leg comes out I think he's going down beforehand we'll see it again here chops inside Mendes leg is catching it just caught his shin yes he's gone down easy but we're seeing this on a couple of occasions over the last couple of games where if you stick a leg out and you catch him we've seen referees give that decision this time we'll probably get away with it Who else but Aaron Cashin? And it's not been cleared. Cashin with another block. And here comes Mendes Lang. Ripswich getting bodies back. Mendes Lang has no one ahead of him. Is the double intervention from Cashin. First one there. Second one here. Well, he's been everywhere, Aaron Cashin, for the first 50 minutes of this game. has been absolutely outstanding. It looks like Sibs has gone alongside the Goldrick. We'll see. Burns with the cross into the arms of Wildsmith. And well handled. Could have gone anywhere. Force it down this right hand side. Cashes in a 1v1. Gets a little deflection as well, I think. Off Aaron Cashin. We'll see it again here. It does inside of his knee. Wildsmith comes across and handles it, smothers it really well. Another important touch. Oh, it might have been sold short here. It's Jackson. Still a chance. Wes Burns makes no mistake and despite all their pressure it's a goal that comes out of nothing and the home side take the lead at Portman Road down the right hand side far too easy here the short pass Chester doesn't go well Smith is in no man's land he bounces back to Burns who has no problem at all finishing it to back pass Curtis Davis has no idea where Jackson is or the runners that are going to go and press and it's a gift Jackson you expected to finish it off it bounces fortunately and kindly for Ipswich back into the space for Burns to step onto it and he finishes high into the roof of the net Jack 
Jackson controlled it well. He's still on his feet. Well, he thinks he should have a penalty. Really sloppy. From Chester, stay with you, man. Chester gets away from the turban. As Chester comes across, comes off his knee actually, and bounces wide. Oh, good save from Wildsmith. And then down goes the Ipswich player. And the Goldrick is shoveled it out of play for a corner, although the linesman is flagging. And he said penalty. Another delayed reaction to give the penalty. Here's the incident for the penalty. He goes short here, flicks off. I think McGoldrick's left foot comes out. Takes down Bird. We'll see it better here. It's a foul. It's a penalty. The left boot comes across as Burns is about to step onto it. Doesn't touch the ball. Jackson is denied by Wildsmith. It's a really good stop as well, but Derby still have work to do here. Morsi. Brilliant, brilliant save from Wildsmith, who kept Derby in the game. When Low to his left-hand side, Jackson struck it with pace. But Wildsmith gets across so quickly, he made his mind up, he stepped across, good save. Strong hand, forces it away from goal. Fortunate bounce to Burns. Immaculate from Aaron Cashin. He needed to be, it's a 4v2 I think there. We're putting so many men forward. The Scythe. Bird, McGoldrick from a long way out. Dave. Wasn't a great strike from McGoldrick. The keeper still had to get down and get a touch. Good little touch to McGoldrick on the edge of the box. Never gets hold of the strike, does he? He drags it towards the near post. Derby knew it would be a tough test tonight at one of the League One high flyers and so it has proved the second half goal from Wes Burns the difference between the sides Ipswich on top for long stages but Derby kept the man until midway through the half later Joe Wildsmith saved a Caden Jackson penalty that kept them in it and although Derby had territory and some pressure, they never really forced Christian Walton into any real significant save.